Annyeong! We are here at Jinsen Kominchi and we are here to have some delicious Korean food. So excited! at Jinsen Coventry, a Korean restaurant and we are here to have some delicious Korean food. So we ordered Korean barbecue in spicy beef bulgogi, Korean uh, seafood pajon which is basically a Korean um, pancake. We have kimchi seafood soup with rice and dirty KFC which is basically Korean fried chicken with mozzarella, cheddar, gochujang, garlic mayo, seaweed and jalapeno. So we got our appetizers in and I'm so excited. So let's just dive in. I'm gonna start with the dirty Korean fried chicken. It's less spicier than I thought, but the cheese and the sauce, it gives a nice sweet tangy flavor. Perfectly fried skin. Look at how crispy it is. And it's very succulent and soft on the inside. Mm. That's one good fried chicken. This is different from the regular fried chicken because of the sauce they gave. They gave gochujang and cheddar cheese and also garlic mayo and seaweed so it gives it a nice um, umami flavor and it's a bit sweet and tangy which I really love when it comes to fried chicken. I don't know about you but personally I find Korean fried chicken crispier than general chicken which is a very very good sign. Do you hear that crisp? So I'm gonna just dip my chicken in gochujang and see if it's any different. Gochujang is like spicy pepper paste. Mmm, that's even better. I just like it to the chicken. So this is our seafood pajon, which is basically a Korean seafood pancake. And look at all the seafood here. I can see some prawns. This looks like an octopus. I think this is squid. And there are some fresh herbs here, like chili and some coriander Ooh, this has such a nice seafood smell makes sense it's seafood pancake i don't know what the sauce is but well it's soy sauce with sesame seeds i'm just gonna try it on its own and then try it with the dipping sauce <laughs> this is actually like a pancake that's filled with seafood and I really like the flavor in this. It's not very in your face, like it's not very sweet or salt or tangy, but it's nicely seasoned. And the bites of seafood you get when you start biting the dough of the pancake is really nice. Let's try it with the dipping sauce. Look at that octopus. Mm. Mm. The sauce makes it a hundred times better. Mm. Being a avid K-drama watcher, I've seen all these dishes on TV and my dreams coming true. I feel like an actress. I'd recommend Korean pancakes to each and every one of you. And I've never, I didn't have any other except the seafood, so this is the only one I can recommend you, but this tastes 10 out of 10. It's really, really good. This is a kimchi seafood soup. We came with a nice cute bowl of rice. I'm really excited for this. I've seen this on K-drama so many times. And I'm just so excited. Let's see what we have here first. 
So we have kimchi, obviously it's kimchi soup. We have some tofu. Then let's see if we can find any seafood. Ooh, this looks like a mussel. Not sure how I'm gonna eat that. Then we have some, we have some octopus bits, some fresh herbs and leaves. They're here to set up our barbecue. <laughs> In goes the coal. No, it's okay. So this is our spicy beef bulgogi that we are gonna barbecue. We got two of them because you can never have enough. We got some fresh leaves to try with our barbecue. We have kimchi and again we are gonna use rice to have our barbecue because you need rice with everything. So let's see if it lives up to the expectation. I'm just gonna have the soup first and then try it with the other condiments. So I really like the spice in it. It gets, it gives you a big kick in the back of your throat, but it could be a little bit more flavorful. Like I would like a bit more tanginess in it because it just feels a bit one-dimensional. Kind of disappointed. Let me try it with the kimchi. When you have it with kimchi, it makes it better, but just having the soup alone, you get a bit of tang from the kimchi, which is what it was missing. Just gonna dip the whole thing in the soup. Pretty sure that's not how you do it, but that's how I'm gonna do it. How Korean am I? That tastes good. Okay, that tastes good. I think you don't have it on its own, you kind of have it with other things. So, this is an egg mixture. And that's sweet corn and cheese. These are kind of sides that they give you with the barbecue. Let's try the tofu. Personally, I'm not a big tofu fan because it just tastes like rubber to me, but let's see. Still not a fan. So this being a seafood kimchi soup, the seafood's really rare to find. I'm a bit underwhelmed with this, to be honest. Maybe I just built it up in my head. nice octopus but it tastes a lot better when you have it with the kimchi and the rice and the soup all together then it makes a nice dish it's time for the main event spicy beef bulgogi barbecue usually I would have grilled it up because as you guys know I'm such a good cook I don't mess anything up but I'm gonna need some external help today just because I feel like it not because I can't do it look at the spices in the beef bulgogi it's so nicely marinated As you can see, our egg's almost done. So is the sweet corn and cheese. You usually cut them up before, after you grill them. Or before, it's up to you. And I can do after, before. It's up to you. Colonel Help is helping me. Just because he wanted to be part of the video, I'm letting him do it. It needs like around three to four minutes on each side to be nicely done depending on how you like it but the beef slices are thinly cut so that it doesn't really take that much time to grill it up happy birthday to you so we are cutting up the pieces so that it's easier to stir and move them around and flip them and eat them can't wait for it to be done. So our beef bulgogi is done. I'm just gonna take this. So I'm gonna just have it on its own to get the initial taste. Oh, it smells so nice. It's charred so nicely. This is so good. The marinade went into the beef so nicely. You can get, get the hint of spice because this is spicy beef bulgogi and the spice hits you right away. 
but it's a nice kind of spice where you can taste all the other flavors and the beef has been charred so nicely and grilled so nicely and it's so tender and soft and it's beautiful now if you watch K dramas like me you know you gotta have your barbecue with a lettuce or any kind of green leaf I'm also gonna put a little bit of kimchi just because It's so good. I can't even. So good. I can't even. I wish you guys could taste what I'm tasting because this is gorgeous. It's phenomenal. It's beautiful. It's everything you dream about. It's nicely done. And I'm gonna have this with my rice. I can't tell you how good this beef BBQ bulgogi is. It, it's too good. Let's try to eat some of the cheesy corn. Mm. Sweet corn. Sorry. Sweet corn with cheese. What's not to like? It tastes amazing. Now let's try the deem, uh, egg. Let's try the egg. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of eggs. So I'm just gonna dip it in my kimchi and seafood soup to cover up the egginess. So I'm gonna finish up my BBQ beef bulgogi and I'll see you guys when I'm gonna have some dessert next. Coventry to have some dessert to finish the day off. First dessert we got is a pistachio ice cream on a cone. Mm. Okay, it's too sweet for me. It has a nice pistachio flavor to it, but it's too sweet for me. I'm not a big fan. So this is a chocolate here which has chocolate chip gelato, chocolate fudge brownie gelato with creams, soft vanilla ice cream, milk chocolate sauce, milk chocolate shavings and a creams wafer. It's all for one and one for all. First of all, how pretty is this? Kind of don't want to destroy it. Now this is what I'm talking about. It's not that sweet for me. It has a hint of bitterness like dark chocolate and this is really good. The chocolate chips and chocolate shavings are giving it a nice crunch and texture. It's just... So we ordered the wild strawberry cheesecake with fresh strawberries and whipped cream. This is their version of the Cheesecake Factory's cheesecake. So let's see how good that is. How good it is. <laughs> I also have a cup of latte because you need your coffee with your cakes and let's see how good this is the pleading is just gorgeous look at it just like an art which I'm going to destroy this tastes like a bubble gum it has a bubble gummy texture what this is different than any of the cheesecakes I've ever had the strawberry I don't know what to call it the strawberry cream or topping it has a very um, thick texture and it tastes like bubble gum but in a very nice way and the cream cheese is dense and it's so cheesy and it's really light and refreshing yeah, it's, it's interesting false alarm this is not whipped cream this is vanilla ice cream I sure know my food that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Korean barbecue we had along with all the side dishes and the dessert we had. If you liked the video, do drop down your comment below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you on the next one. Peace!